Hello guys, this is Dan and uh, welcome back to Sister Networks. Today in this tutorial it will be a Photoshop tutorial and it will be the beginning of a new series. Uh, this series is actually going to be a sort of 2D logo type series and eventually we should come up with something like this. Um, a sort of drowsy effect for a um, piece of text. However, I'll be showing you how to create a really cool 2D logo in this tutorial. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating a 2D logo, um, but it's going to have some sort of like we're going to merge. Basically, we're going to take a font and we're going to make it basically not look like that font anymore. Uh, basically, your own custom logo uh, using 2D text. Eventually, we'll extract that. We'll export that as an AI image, and uh, yeah, hopefully get something done in Cinema 4D with it. Anyway, this will be a, a series, so yeah, keep up to date with it. If you possibly can, I'll be tweeting when I'm releasing the next episode and uh, all sorts so uh, yeah anyway um, first of all let's like say if you're not already subscribed please subscribe we're getting close to uh, another waypoint so uh, if you could do that then that would be really awesome also like this video um, it really helps us out uh, helps us understand what sort of things you're interested in and what you prefer uh, so first off I'm just going to quickly make this sort of black like so uh, now we're going to take some text. I've got this font. Um, I cannot remember what it's called. I don't know it loads. I'll tell you now. It's called Orion Pax. And uh, I'm just going to type out our name. Uh, I'm actually just going to do the word twist because I just can't not be bothered to do the full full name. Okay, so for this piece of text, uh, we're going to do some effects with it using the marquee tool and separate layers. First, we're going to right-click on rasterize. And um, we're going to cut these all to individual layers uh, so we can uh, modify them. So we're just going to select them with the marquee tool, right click, cut from layer, from the text layer, like so. Obviously, making sure we cut the layer like this. I can delete the original layer, so this is T, forward, S, I. W T because in reverse. I think it should be yeah, there we go. So now we have individual layers and we can work with them. First thing I see here is the W can merge with the top part of this T. So we can just drag this over like this. All that I'm gonna do is drag it over. Like so. Um now I'm going to do this quite a cool effect. Um, I'm going to drag a box. I'm going to zoom in here to so about 200%. And I'm going to drag a, a box with a height of two pixels. And I'm going to slice these te this text up so it doesn't just like look what, like one bulk piece of text. It actually has some sort of depth, uh, not depth, but uh, uh, sort of like uh, it's just a cool effect if you see here. Um, so this is how 2D logos are really made up. So if you already uh, use Photoshop regularly, then you uh, kind of understand what I'm doing. But I'm just sort of cutting selections out of the text to give it a really cool effect. Rather than this just being one piece of bulk, it has uh, different sections cut out. Next thing I can do with this eye, I've realized, is I can just sort of drag this in like this. I can slice a line through here. So now again, I'm going to drag a two pixel wide box all the way down. You can see the pixels by looking on the uh, little box which appears. So you can see it's one pixel wide, that's two pixels wide. And then coming over here, I can just do this to the W and delete that. Uh, and then we have the T, the W, and the I sort of merged together. It's looking pretty awesome already. Uh, if I do say so. Now with the S here, I'm going to do something a bit different actually. I'm actually going to cut a sort of V out the back. So we come to the pencil, and uh, I'm sort of just going to cut a V and then go backwards, make selection, marquee. And uh, that looks okay. So now I've got that sort of V, weird V shape. This should just sort of give me a cool effect up here and down here uh, when I drag these in. And I've noticed here this has got a cool S. So I'm going to engrave this part of the S out of the I. Um, so with, if I show you this now, I'm going to. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a two pixel box again up here. Of course, I'm just keeping two pixels as that gives it sort of some sort of house style, um, which enables me to sort of keep an idea of what I'm doing. 
two eggs, I'll do that. So I want a that removed there, and then if I just actually I'm just gonna do a entire chunk out of this, so I'm gonna do this and this just remove it all. So that removes it all pretty much and uh, gives it quite a cool effect. That looks okay. I'm I'm quite happy with that, so that's that's going okay. Uh, so the last piece we have is the T. And now for this, I definitely know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this quite close, and then I'm going to cut the S bit out the top here, as well as taking a two pixel chunk out of this bit here as well. So two pixels to keep my house style. Boom, it's gone. Oh, that's one. Boom. And I'm just going to take this out of the S here because it's got some weird line. There we are. No idea what that was. Um, it's just a bit of fine tuning. I just did that. Okay, so now if I delete this T, uh, sorry, hide this T, not delete T, I can see the S here. So I'm going to come to the uh, polygon, uh, polygon on lasso tool, and I'm just going to drag a what seems to be two pixel gap from this. Um, that looks to me like a two pixel gap. Um, not completely sure. Uh, it seems to me going to be. So I have to quickly erase this because I accidentally selected a layer wrong, but just uh, quickly. So there we are. That's that done. I'm zooming to 100%. You can see that's pretty much my my 2D logo, uh, as it were. So I can just quickly have to highlight all these by holding Control Shift and the top one from the bottom, and I'm pressing Control E, and uh, I get I get it merged. And then just quickly just sort of bring this up like so, and. Uh, have that like this. Uh, have, I want to keep these as separate individual layers, so I'm just going to undo that. Uh, and I'm just going to instead do this. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, put these to a folder so later on when I want to create an AI map, I can quite easily. So I'm just going to do twist like so. Uh, but then what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the background off and click image, apply image, and this is basically going to apply the image of the twist. It's just twist only, so I hide that. I've got the twist still. And this is just a separate layer, basically a merge layer. And this we're going to quickly apply a layer style. So if you want, this could just be your 2D logo, literally, just from this alone. Because um, they turn out pretty well. So just a distance of one and a drop shadow, size two, more, uh, turn this to normal 75%. Uh, you then can do a gradient overlay if you want, and just set this to like 20 by 20 percent. Um, just gonna bring this apart a little bit, like so. Uh, then we do an inner glow or inner shadow. I'm just gonna do inner shadow. Or I'll make this white overlay, and set this global light off. A negative 120 degrees should work. Oops. Um, distance around about three and size around about two. Opacity maybe 50% or 75. I'm just gonna have 70. And you can, if you want to, apply a stroke. However, I don't want to because it fills in my gaps. Um, you also could do it in bevel and emboss or a pattern overlay with a soft light overlay or overlay or normal even okay um 
Okay, so there I have sort of a basic 2D um, text logo. Uh, that's pretty much the tutorial. This is episode one, don't forget, guys. I will be doing quite a few more episodes of this. <coughs> yeah. uh, so I hope, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, actually. Um, my next episode I'll be releasing hopefully tomorrow, if I possibly can. And um, that's just going to be a continuation from this and exporting this to an AI map. And then doing that epic throwsy uh, that you just saw. Sorry if you heard that's my phone. Uh, it's been going off quite violently. Now what I'm doing now, sure. Sure. Oh, quick tip for you guys: if you get these gradial rings here, which people just don't like, just hit the other, and boom, they're gone. Uh, it doesn't take anything else. I see a lot of people doing loads of blurring effects and you just hit the other and they're gone, so I have no idea what they're doing. But yeah, um that that's pretty much it guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, like I said. Uh, that's pretty much how to create this sort of 2D logo <coughs> uh using the marquee tool and some text and pretty much editing it so it looks really cool. Uh, like I said, please subscribe and like this video um, and comment if you need any help or anything, I'll try and reply as soon as possible. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's been done, I don't know.